Tell me about the Natal Sharks Board and why an organization like that exists in the country that was the first to list the white shark as a protected species. Well, the Natal Shark Board came as a result of a spate of attacks in, in the late 50s that created a mass hysteria along the South African coastline. It was the Natal Anti Sharks Board um, back in those days, and it was a system of staggered nets that were set up to protect coastal beaches from the threat, supposed threat of sharks. And, um, you know, back in the 50s, our understanding of the ecosystem and of the role sharks play in the environment was very different to what it is today. Even in the 70s, we're still making films like Jaws. So we've certainly come a long way. And, and in today's day and age, where sharks, species which in one or other way has been around for 400 million years, um, our understanding of these animals has evolved tremendously. And uh, the need for the Natal Sharks Board certainly seems very, very outdated. There are lots of people that are very against the Natal Sharks Board. Um, they don't only catch potentially harmful species, they catch all sorts of sharks, they catch rays, they catch dolphins, they catch whales. And ultimately for the white sharks, there's no known larger commercial killer of the great white shark than the Natal Sharks Board. And I feel embarrassed as a South African to have this operation along our coastline. We've learned a lot since the days that those nets were first put in, including a better understanding of the effects it has on the ecosystem. So this many years later, why hasn't the method or policy changed or just plain been gotten rid of? Well, I think in the case of the Natal Sharks Board, what firstly needs to be considered is the fact that most great white sharks, in fact, in fact the, the vast bulk of the population, live on the Cape Coast. Along the Cape Coast, we do not have shark nets. And yet we see, on average, less than one fatality a year. The Natal Sharks Board maintains the nets along a stretch of coastline that's a few hundred kilometers long and has a devastating effect on the local marine fauna in those areas. Um, in terms of why we need the, the shark nets, I, I think that most serious water users are strongly against the, the shark nets in terms of the damage they're doing to the ecosystem. They kill between 11 and 60 great white sharks every single year, as well as thousands of other sharks of numerous species. And in, in today's day and age, I think the Natal Shark Sport exists on a few people's fear rather than rational decision-making based on hard statistics as to what sh danger sharks actually pose to us. There are many alternatives for people to use the water and many, vari and many recreational pursuits that wouldn't endanger them. Um, virtually in any way and ultimately at the end of the day we as humans use the water to a large extent purely for recreational uses whereas the sharks have got no other option other than to swim where they do. In South Africa the Natal Sharks what I think is still in place because it employs um, you know a fair number of people probably in excess well in excess of a hundred people and a lot of those people scientists and managers and directors are earning a decent salary so the last thing they want to do is lose their jobs. The government also gives them a substantial amount of money every year, several million dollars to fund what they do. So there are financial reasons for a lot of those people keeping the Natal Sharks Board there. And it's very, very easy to keep the idea of the, the fear uh, that people have of sharks going. It's as simple as me going out to a whole lot of ignorant people and saying to them, you know what, if we take those nets away, my gosh, the sharks are going to come running in there and it's going to be a frenzy, it's going to be a bloodbath. And the, the, the irrational fear that that creates continues the myth and perpetuates the need to have these nets, which certainly, based on hard facts, don't need to be there. And we're destroying an unbe unbelievable wealth of our marine fauna in terms of sharks by having these antiquated systems in place. So in a sense, the existence of those nets have created a bit of a financial ecosystem. And if those nets were to be removed, then that would cause the financial ecosystem to collapse. And those people benefiting from that would then be out of jobs. Absolutely. I think the financial, uh, financial benefits to a handful of people are a strong motivation for keeping those nets in place.